The Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit, and of the joints and the marrow, and is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All Scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. As we labor in the Lord faithfully, we wait patiently on the Lord, who makes things grow. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And the gospel must first be preached to all the nations. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. My son, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments. For length of days and years of life and peace, they will add to you. How happy are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Sa dili pa kita mag-apadayon sa pagtuon sa pulong sa Diyos, let us use the uh, rebound technique if necessary. Kung doon na ka pa yung mga salanggit tinir niya sa imong uh, kalag, kinanglan, kinihinganlan, o atong ikumpisal nga ito sa Diyos, aron kita malimpiuhan, maandam kita sa atong pagtuon sa pulong sa Diyos. 1 John 1.9 says, if we confess our sins, He, God, is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. O nga lang kanimo, nga dili magtutuo, wala pa'y Kristo sa mong kinabuhi, gi awhag ka, gidapit ka sa pagbutang sa imong pagtuo, nganha kang ginong Heso Kristo. Put your faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. Kaya ang Acts 16.31 says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Humani mo buwata ka na, ikaw may luna na usab sa grasya sa Diyos, o ka andam na sabi ka sa pagsalmot. Nining atong pagbuhaton nga pagtuon sa pulong sa Diyos. Busa sa hilom, mag-aampo kita. Let us pray. Ama na mo nga Diyos, nagapasalamat kami kanimo ni ining adlawa sa mga kausapang ngayon mo kami gi dala din hi aron sa pagpadayon sa pagtuon sa mong pulong. Grasya mang kining tanan o Diyos ngayon mo pa kami gi pabuhi ang tuning higayuna. Ipaklaro ka na mo Diyos ang imong tuyo aron among maklaro gayon na kining among pagamuhaton agi pag sunod lamang sa imong mando sa pag uh, pagkaon sa imong kalag sa imong mga pulong busa nining adlawa uh, uban ni kami pinagi sa paghom sa Espiritu Santo tangtanga mga babag na diyan sa imong unahuna aron kami maka tutok lamang maka punting lamang sa imong uh, una huna diyan sa imong igatudlo kanamo nining adlawa kining tanan among ipasalamatan sa ngalan ni Ginoong Kristo. Amen. Mayong adlaw sa tanan, mga suki, mga higala, mga kaigsuunan ng mga Kristuhanon. We are here today uh, in good health and uh, with a clear mind. We are alive, we are still breathing, all because of God's mercy, love, courtesy, and grace. Grasya kining tanan. Ipabuhi pa kita tungod kaya napas plano sa itong kinabuhi na ituyo ang Diyos 
sa atong kinabuhi. All this nga atong pagkabuhaton, we do not deserve, we do not earn, nor work for. Kay kinintanan grasya man. Karoon natin ipadayon ang atong paghisgot uh, sa mga pagtulunan diha sa pulong sa Diyos. O niya magkita nagadupot din yung pagtulunan nga giuluhan nato ang doktrina sa uh, dili kasagarang paagi sa pagkinabuhi. The doctrine of the supernatural way of life. Now, okay, ato namang gisgutan katong uh, mga klase sa mga maayong buhat, duha ka klase, tawhanon o Diyos nun. Ang tawhanon, gi tandi kini sa kahoy Uh, kogon og digami nga kun imo kining duslitan mo sila ob dayon masunog so kana i ato laning gi kaamgid sa uh, mga ganti na unya nga ihatag sa Dios nga ri kana tong mga magtutuo ining biya na to ning kalibutan na matubang kita sa Dios so ataga na kita sa ang mga ganti ang basihan ini mo nga tong mga binuhatan din sa kalibutan kung ang iyong binuhatan tawhanon na sunog man, it's all lost. Ang iyong reward is lost. O alang ka ni mo, Kristuhanon nga nagatubo, nagkabot sa Espirituhanong paghahamtong, spiritual maturity, then kalifikando ka na, may katakos ka na sa pagdawat sa mga panalangin, o ka na makahimaya sa Diyos. O kadtong iyong mga binuhatan, pulos man ka ito uh, natandi sa uh, bulawan, pilak o mahalong mga uh, bato, gold, uh, silver and precious stones, kung imo nang duslitan, dili ka na masunog. So, it will stand. So, mao ka nang basihan sa ganti nga ihatag sa Diyos, nganhi ka na itong uh, magtutuo, inigatubang na nato sa Diyos dito sa eternidad. Okay? So, ato naman ang na pa tinaw kanimo. So, karon, uh, there are two kinds of suffering. Atong gitukbil naman eh, last time. Duha ka klaseng pag-antos alang sa magtutuo. Okay? Category 1 suffering o category 2 suffering. Ang category 1 suffering, mo kini ang pag-antos uh, uh, in the will of God. Kung naa ka na makita sa 1 Peter 3.17 o 1 Peter 4.19. O ang ikaduha nga category, uh, category 2 suffering, mo kini ang pag-antos of divine discipline. Diyos nung pagpantun. That's any and all suffering that accrues to the believer out of fellowship. Nga nahimulang siya sa pagkagabitay sa Diyos. Out there in carnality. So, carnal ang iyong kaintang, dili spiritual. Ibawa naman ta. Once a believer commits sin, he is out of fellowship. He is under God's discipline. O, ah, Uh, he is under either in initial discipline or intensive discipline. Kaya doon, at tulo may ang-ang o ing nun ta three uh, categories of suffering. Okay? Or level. Okay? Ang una ni ini is uh, uh, warning discipline. Mura ka ni pasi una o uh, pahimang no. Okay? Ay, magno ka na nga disiplina ha. <coughs> Excuse me. Ang ikaduha mo o ang unsa. Uh, bugat-bugat na nga pagantos Intensive discipline. O ang ikatulo, mo na to ang maximum discipline nga nahug na ka na sa sin unto death. Okay? Mo ni ang tulo ka uh, ang-ang sa pagantos sa magtutuo lamang ay labot ang mga di magtutuo. So, if you are a believer, if you are in a state of sin, then 
you are declared carnal o ikaw na himulag sa o nahigawa sa pagkikibitay sa Diyos o ikaw under God's discipline either warning uh, or initial or intensive o I hope dili ka makaabot sa <laughs> ikatulong among sin unto death the maximum uh, discipline Okay, so mo ka na. Now, and if ang usa ka magtuto under intensive discipline, by the way, ang ikaduhang kategory, he may be heading for maximum discipline na mawang sin unto death. But that disciplinary suffering for personal sin in the believer's life. Okay? Category 1 suffering Maukatong suffering in which there is no personal sin in the believer's life. Why sa siya? Apan nagantos kanang pagantusa dili kana discipline ako dili panalangin. Okay. So if compassion suffering, testing suffering, ang suffering because of the evil of others, maantos mang ang mga magtutoo gikan sa mga uh, kadautan sa uban ng tao. And therefore, since the believer in fellowship is producing divine good, just nun nga mga maayong binuhatan, ang production of divine good means ang magtutuo is delivered from any and all divine discipline. Tungon ka, he is, uh, he is not out of fellowship. O man siya mahigawa sa pagkikambitay sa Diyos. In other words, uh, the believer in fellowship, automatic ni siyang makabuhat o Diyos nun nga mga binuhatan. He is therefore automatically dili ubos any form of divine discipline and cannot be. Dili. And that's why ang activated faith He has a faith-dressed life mo'y makaproduce of divine good. And that production of divine good mo'y magapalingkawas sa mo'y magtutuo gikan sa Diyos noon nga disiplina. Now, uh, tutukir ko ka ng uh, panapos sa versikulo 14 diha. Nag-ingo diha, can faith save him? Now, look at the end of verse 14. Now remember, this is not soteriological faith. Dilini. This is face to faith. Inom doon ka ba? Sa soteriological faith, ang imong pagtuo kang ito sa Kristo. Mga na soteriological faith. Apan ang face to faith, mga ang tumong niya na, din na sige ito sa Kristo, kaya humana man niya mong idawat siya. Ang imong tumong na karoon sa face to faith, mao ang pulong sa Diyos. Okay? Pulong sa Diyos ng imong tumong. So, is faith able to deliver him from divine discipline? Naon sa maning matang sa faith he is talking about. Now, would you go back to the middle of the verse? Balika. Kining maong versikulo na gaingon, If a believer may say, that is, if he may contend that he has activated faith, the faith functioning with the faithless life. In other words, kining maong magtutuo na gayon, I'm walking in fellowship with God. I'm right here, right on that bottom circle. Well, he says this, but the characteristics of his life is he does not have the production of divine good. That is, he does not have It simply says he does not have works. So may but pa sa but ni ni. He does not have good. He does not have good works. He does not have the production of divine good. Now, you have to think with us here. He says, "Kining mao magtuto na gayon." I'm walking in fellowship with God, but he is not producing divine good. Now he says one thing. But he is not producing divine good. Now follow me very well. What kind of faith does the believer have who does not produce divine good? 
Ang sama na yung mantang sa faith. Dead faith. Patay nga pagtuo. Buot pa sa buot, non-activated faith. Wa madasig, wa mabuhi, wa maabtik nga pagtuo. Non-appropriating faith. And therefore, he may say he is in fellowship, but he does not produce divine good. Then, in reality, he is out of fellowship. And he is in carnality. Gusto? Walking in darkness kini siya. And therefore, he is productive, but he is productive of human good or dead works. Mora. So, ang matag magtutuo produces every moment of his day. Every day, he is either producing divine good or he is producing human good. Kung siya naga buhat o Diyos nung mga binuhatan, then he is in fellowship. If he is producing, uh, he is in fellowship, he is producing human good, then he is out of fellowship. Kung human good na lang iyang produce. And the productivity hmm, is automatic. Gibasihan ni ini what the believer is. Ang iyang kaimtang ba? If he is a spiritual believer, kung sa may iyang produce, he produces divine good. But if he is a carnal believer, then kung sa may iyang produce, human good. You see, when he is in fellowship, na siya is pakigabitay sa Diyos, he may be driving down the freeway. Yes, when you're in fellowship, you may be doing something, and that something you're doing is gonna produce divine good. Understand that. Samtag yun na pagayon. Bisang unsahin mong gibuhat, basta ikaw in fellowship, kanangin mong gibuhat, divine good yun. Sabta ka na. So let me repeat. If you are in fellowship, what you are doing is what kind of good? Divine good. While if you are out of fellowship, nahigawas kas pag yung bitay sa Diyos, what you are doing is human good. Tawhanon nga maayong o binuhatan. Now, switching, switching or switching back to the doctrine of salvation, balik ta. God is presenting a stimulus of the gospel message to unbelievers. Okay? Unbelievers gi gipasidan an kini sila of the horrible consequence of rejection of Christ. Gipasidan an. Unsa man ang ilang unsa may resulta? Unsa resulta kung ilang Isa likwais ganun si Kristo, lake of fire, eternal fire. Now, there are kinds of things that cause tremendous maximum pain to members of the human race. Ang usani ni, physical pain caused by fire, by burning. That is intense. The other one is emotional pain caused by loneliness. Abi ni mo, The greatest emotional pain that people suffer in life is loneliness. Kini bang pagka banti o kamingaw. Okay? Do you think God does not know how to judge unbelievers? What's the lake of fire is gonna be? They are in the blackness of darkness forever. Kantong nagasalikway sa kaluasan. Nagasalikway kang ginong Iso Kristo ingon nga manluluwas. They're gonna wind out, wind out, or wind up diha sa lake of fire. Okay? Linaw sa kalayo. Maunay total isolation of loneliness. Burning in fire. Grabe ka ng kombinasyon na no? Total isolation of loneliness. Burning in fire. What a combination. Second Peter chapter 2, nagaingon. You know, 
God knows how to punish the ungodly. And there's a whole big conditional clause there in 2 Peter chapter 2. And it also says, God also knows how to deliver the believer out of temptations. Do not underestimate God. I argue. Either in his capacity to punish or in his capacity to impute grace blessing. Do not toy around with the word of God on your life. Ingon nga magtutuo. Ayaw. You go with the word. O bantay. You watch what God does for your life. Ang imong kinabuhi would become so fabulous. It would become so wonderful that you would look around on people who are in indifferent and lethargic toward the world. You want to kick them on the butt and you would tell them, wake up, you jerk. The world is wonderful. Get your butt to class and start learning. Grow up. Toon mo sa pulong sa Diyos. Mga kini ang pag-aghat sa Diyos. Okay? Put your butt down on the chair so your brain can absorb something valuable. Now, ato rin kong review hon. Mag-review ito kamay. Ang magtutuo, who is in fellowship with God na sa pakigambitay sa Diyos automatically produces divine good. Huwag dili siya ubos sa disiplina sa Diyos. Okay? Here is a believer who says he is in fellowship, but actually he is not. Now, what kind of faith does that believer out of fellowship have? Ang siya ito bang? Patay nga pagtuo. Dead faith. A non-appropriating faith, a deactivated faith. Now, ang question din he, at the end of verse 14, can that dead faith deliver the believer from divine discipline? Dili, Rabah. It cannot. And not only that, the question here is introduced by the negative me. Me, M-E. And me demands a negative response. No, it cannot. But just to show you, nga ang magtutuo in fellowship here, dili siya under divine discipline. Natural. Okay. Ningtong ora, atong ablihan ko no, ang atong Biblia, di sa Roma, Kapitulo 8, versikulo 1. Romans, chapter 8, verse 1. Okay? Nagaan ka na kung panahon sa pag-abli si mong Biblia, Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Ato ito sa verse 1. Ang sige sulti dihan. Sa in English, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Now, The first thing you should understand about verse 1, Maokini, that the first two words there, wara ba ka na sa original? It's not the original. Ang verb diha has been supplied and left out as an elliptical. But there is no word for there. Walay there. The word that's the subject of this verb here is this kining word translated condemnation. Ang kining pulong condemnation, it's katari, katakrima. Katakrima sa Grigo nga uh, lingwahe. It's katakrima. Now, I'll show you giyon sa kini or how does this looks like and what modifies. Okay? okay? Katakrima. Krima Buti ba sabot ng krima means paghukom, judgment. Ang kata, 
means down or against. So it's in the intensified form o kining pulong is modified by the neuter nominative singular sa adjective nga hudes. Hudes. It's you D-E-S. Kidding again on no condemnation exists. Therefore, now, no condemnation exists to the ones who are in Christ Jesus. Kaning in Christ, uh, nagpasamot kinig union with Christ on the top circle. Okay? Eternal life, member of the family of God, at the point of salvation, the unpardonable sin is cancelled. Na na, you cancel her. That's it. Hebrews 9.27. Uh, ayaw na po ni Kalimte. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. Nagayin on. It is appointed unto men once to die. Kaning, to die is physical death. And after this, the judgment. That's the great white throne judgment of Revelation 20, 11 to 15. Upon one of the 70 things imputed ngadto sa magtutuo sa panahon sa iyang pagkaluwas, mao, ang cancellation, pagkansilar sa unpardonable sin and that appointment with God. With the Lord Jesus Christ specifically, the great white throne judgment. So, Hebrews 9.27, again, it is appointed unto men once to die, and after this, the judgment. Again, mokine a great white throne judgment, but at the point of faith in Christ, that means, ang maong tao nga mituo kang ginoon sa Kristo, siya makakuha na o makaangko na o kinabuhin na yun. John 3.16, John 3.36 He that believeth on the Son hath eternal life, but he that believeth not the Son hath not life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Ikanduha, secondly, ang iangan gisuwat na dito sa Lamb's Book of Eternal Life. At the moment of salvation, niyanag yung higayon nga iyang gidawat si Ginoong Isokristo, ingon nga iyang Manluluwas. His name written in this Lamb's Book of Life dili na papason will never be blotted out. Revelation 3.5 Tanawan na sa Biblia. Revelation 3.5 Kung ka to, He is cancelled of the unpardonable sin. Gikansilar na siya sa iyang uh, kanang unpardonable sin. There is no condemnation no eternal judgment ngad ni adtong nagatuo nagadawat kang Ginoo Hesus Kristo ingon nga ilang manluluwas therefore now no judgment exists to the ones in Christ Jesus to the ones walking not according to the flesh but according to the spirit now ang uh, unang bahin diha sa bersikulo 1 dinhi nagahisgot kini sa pagkadugtong diha kang Kristo. Union with Christ. There is no condemnation. Apan ang condemnation, while it is true there is no condemnation to those who trust in Christ as Savior, ang condemnation is not really related to that after we have gone through it. Inom doon ka sa Operation Bottom Circle to the fellowship sphere. Inom doon ka pa ba? Dito ba sa ubos, ngalingin? Ano saman to? Temporal fellowship with God, compatibility with God, na hiluna na diha, o nagkasibo ka na sa Diyos, the feeling of the Holy Spirit, ang pagpuno sa Espiritu Santo ka ni mo, redeeming or purchasing time, ay mong ilukat ang panahon, o God's spiritual rest. Ang espirituhanon nga unsa uh, pangpahulay. It says here, to the ones in Christ Jesus 
who there is no relative here huh? it's a present active participle it's masculine dative plural okine nagahisgo to the ones in christ jesus to the ones not walking according to the flesh but according to the spirit now kining walking according to the spirit uh, la inusab kining a term for fellowship with god and walking according to the flesh is another term for carnality sabtakara huh? so walking according to the spirit mo kanay laing term for fellowship with god apan ang walking according to the flesh mo kanay laing term for carnality so that wa nay pagukom o condemnation applies both places wa nay eternal condemnation wa nay eternal judgment but there is also no condemnation or judgment in other words there is no divine discipline to the believer in fellowship samta po na ang tanan nga divine discipline all category to suffering is divine discipline and that is for the believer out of fellowship nahigawa sa pagkikumbitay so ako malikot subli on ako there is no divine discipline for the believer in fellowship kaya naman kay pagkikumbitay oh why then are the righteous the believer functioning with doctrine suffer nga naman the great supposed enigma in human history kini okay kay naay mga komentaryo nga gisuwat diha sa libro ni Job in the book of Job ang library has by the hundreds gatosan and a lot of them say they write a book three or four uh, pages with commentaries as to why Job suffered Did you ever read the book? Did you ever read the book? Why do believers suffer? Na may uban nga mga tanan nga wa man sila ma tinawi ni ini. Category 1 Will of God suffering. Ninumdum ka? Ang category 1 suffering mao ang will of God suffering. Compassion suffering. Testing suffering and suffering because of being under satanic attack. Why did Joseph suffer? Ngano man? Gi baligya bito siya into slavery to Egypt. The evil of which comes from the evil of other believers. Mao na. Why was Paul in Acts 18 run out of Thessalonica? The suffering of the unsaved Jews, the evil Jews who wanted to murder him. How come they tried to murder him? Tungon ka, he made an issue out of Christ. He told them, iyang gituganan siya, iyang gisultihan sila, they're going to the lake of fire. If they don't accept Christ as Savior, they want to murder Him. It's not exactly what you call a positive response. I've just given you three illustrations. Number one, nga numan nga ang mga magtutuo mo antos man. Satan and evil of believers, suffering of unbelievers, the evil of others. Aminimo, you see, every believer, lest they do have any vested interest in stopping the evil in his tracks, stopping from attacking the believer's soul, and he does that through the faithless life. Ang matag magtuto ana ay ging og vested interest and every unbeliever coming to faith in Christ and every believer getting plugged into doctrine cause when they do that you will remove a lot of suffering in your own life kini mahitabo in your life and that's going on right now toward sa kadautan ni ining atong nasod because of the evil kanang naglihok evil now a lot of evil in this country comes from din gikan 
from reversionistic carnal evil believers. The innocent suffer with the guilty. Gusto? Ang mga inosinti. Muantos yun. Tungod sa mga guilty. They cannot just crawl into a cocoon. Muingaw sila. I'm not going to be affected by anybody. Romans 14.7 sa isulti. No man lives to himself and no man dies to himself. Kaya nga naman, you're affected by it. Gusto? By the way, to handle it, unsa ka man yung pag atubang nini? Be? Unsa ka man? How do you handle it? It is with doctrine. Na na, doktrina ang imong gamiton. Just make the Word of God your life and watch what happens. One of the wonderful things that will happen to you is you get good and angry in life. That's be angry and sin not. Now, naging on dia sa Biblia, Ephesio 4.26, called, unsa man na, righteous indignation. You'll get angry at the evil of others. Do you know what not? But you also know how to go about on problem solving and the problem prevention. And um, no makabasa plano sa Dios, descriptions plano sa Dios. It is a problem identifier, problem anticipator, problem preventor, and problem solver. You see? You know, it's presumed that you know how to apply them. The ten problem-solving devices nga gi hatag sa Diyos ka na to. And it's better experience is not the best teacher. Doctrine is. Sabot ka? Di ta mubarog na ng experience is not, experience is the best teacher, dili? It's doctrine. Doctrine. Better to learn about people from doctrine than it is till they get burned by evil people in life. You can be protected, no, panalipdan ka against being burned by evil people in life. If you get doctrinally smart, na na, mao kani atong tumong ng mahimot ang doctrinally smart. Dili kayo magpasigar buka, dili kayo magpahambog ka. Huwag pa yung laki na ko, huwag kita ka na kong lukti na. That is pampaitas on. You are out of fellowship niya na. Kung huwag magkamatunong. You have to maintain humility. Magpaubos ka. Kaya mao ka na ang pagi nga ikaw mapromoted. Kung sige sulti sa Diyos? Kung sa ang prinsipyo to on? The way up is the way down. Na na. Prinsipyo man na. Na kung buot kang mo, abot dito si taas, sugod ka dres ubos. You see? And the statements that Job makes in the book is talking about the dead are better than the living. That's not true of unbelievers. That's true on believers. And Job, no doctrine. Na mo siya yung doktrina. And at the end of the book, sa hinapos niya ng mong libro, whom did God command? Si Job. What does it mean the dead are better than the living? Dead believers, patay ng mga mong totoo, have gone to paradise. There's no suffering. The reason the dead are better than the living is, tungod kay si Job as a believer on the face of the earth, in phase two, nagantos. Believers who have gone to paradise do not suffer anymore. On sa tuyong niya sa Revelation 21:4, there is no more suffering. There, God will wipe away all, all tears. No more suffering. No more sorrow. No more, on sa tears. No more death because the old things are passed away. You don't suffer anymore. That's what it means by that statement. There is no discipline for the believer in fellowship. So how can you avoid discipline in life? 
very simple. Just function with a faith rest life. And that's also how a believer automatically produces divine good. Basta? So, mauna, nakita gitambagan sa Diyos at tumupuyo sa inyong puluyanan. Nagingan lang ako o divine dinosphere. Nanumdong ka pa si Redio? Divine dinosphere is yun sa mauna ay dapit nga na ang gahom sa Diyos, dapit nga puloy anan sa tanan nga mga magtutuo. The divine dance sphere cannot be found anywhere. It's in our mind. Kaya nga naman, based on the principle that the Christian way of life or the Christian life is a mental attitude life. Kasabot ka? Pangunang-unaw eh. Inumdum ka? Nga ang buhot sa Diyos mo nga saturated, masaturated ni nga itong una-una sa una-una niya. Saturate your mind. Renovate. Baguha yun. You see? Kaya nga itong una-una, di pa rin sununa sa Diyos. Kung sa mag isulti sa Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. Ano sa? My thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. My thoughts higher than your thoughts. Na, buod sa Dios nga gamiton ka na unsa ang iyang pulong diha sa imong una una nga gisaturate diha nga aron ikaw magapuyok sa imong husto ug tukma nga puluyanan mental attitude nga naa sa divine atmosphere divine atmosphere duha na ka duha man ni din ani mo makita sa dictionary kanang word nga dynasphere combination as duha ka greek word dunamis ug sphea dunamis power sphea place place of power apan kadang maong place is a place where there is god's power mao kana nga so ang Puloyan na nato mao ang divine dinosphere. Masimbot pa sabot kung naang ka divine dinosphere. That means, makatuman ka na. You can execute the Christian way of life. Okay, kung tuwa ka sa gawas, gawas niya ng divine dinosphere, uh, kung ginaingon ni mo, nga unsay ma-produce ni mong God, only human God. Kito na mga sa gawas. Apat kung tuwa ka sa suod sa imong tukma o hustong pinu- pinuyanan, hmm, your place nga imong puy anan nga maong divine atmosphere then automatically ang imong ma-produce nga god maong divine god you see apan sa diha kana kun buot ka nga mo kanang ma-maintain ang imong pagpuyo diha ha okay ni ay sikreto ni this is an open secret nga gihatag sa dios nga alang kana to mga kristohan na ay mga requirements to meet, to be able for for you to grow in grace and fulfill the protocol plan of God. Ano siya man? Mga requirements. Unang requirement, make it as a routine. Make it as a habit. Uh, himuan ng kanang naanda na nimo Routine. Ikaduha. Kinahanglan nagagunit ka sa true scale of values nga mo ang pulong sa Diyos. Mo'y pasiuna sa mong kinabuhi. Ikatulo, I mean, ika, uh, okay, ikatulo, kinahanglan ka o unsa, maorganisar ng imong kinabuhi. Organize your life. O niya yung kaupat, kinahanglan nga himong himoon ang husto, tukma, nga desisyon good making good decisions from a position of strength high man position of strength divine that is fair and then ikalima malahutayon ka persistent ikaunom nga persevering ka ikinahanglan nga na kay perseverance malahutayon mapadinayonon you see unsa may but pasabot nga Pagpuyo, this divine atmosphere. Ibaw ka kung sa? It means feeling of the Spirit. 
fellowship with God, nga nag-fulfill ka sa protocol plan of God. Ako kang gingin nga, this is the only way nga you can execute God's protocol plan. Kung to aga sa source, divine dance fear. Hindi na mo ma-execute ang Christian way of life, gawas sa divine dance fear. Samtaga na agayo. What's the other name for fellowship with a feeling of the Holy Spirit? I mean, on sa bot pasabot. On sa laingan sa feeling of the Holy Spirit. It is control of the Spirit. What are the seven ministries of the Holy Spirit? Ano siya man? Pito ka mga ministeryo sa Diyos Espiritu Santo. Number one, efficacious grace. Ikaduha, regeneration. Pagpagkatawa, pag-usap. Number three, baptism of the Holy Spirit. Number four, indwelling. Pagpuyo. Number five, infilling. Pagpuno. Number six, sealing, pagtimbre, pag, uh, uh, say, lying term niya na, timbre ba? Seal sa Espiritu Santo. O kang ikapito, spiritual gifts. Spirituhan ng mga gasa. No, ito ng John 15, 5 na gayingon ko, mahitungod gini sa divine atmosphere. John 15, 5, abrihin yung mong Biblia, nagayingon ka na diya. I am the vine, ye are the branches. Kamo, mga believers. He that abideth in me, and I in him, kanang I in him, on a feeling of the Holy Spirit, the same bringeth forth much fruit. On a divine good production. For without me, ye can do nothing. Anong nothing diha? Human good. See? See? Kanang without me, apart from me. Ang bot pa sa bot. Ang verse 6 niya naging what? If a man abide not in me, kaya kung you are not abiding in him, you are in the CD, cosmic atmosphere. Okay? If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered, nagkalaos. And men gather them and cast them into the fire. Not a human good. And are burned. No, no. When someone ang giging on dia sa Isaiah 64:6, mao na giging ang lanok filthy rags, human good. Ang imong kanang self righteousness, kani imong pag ingon nga. Matarong kasi mong kaugalingon. Mone, I see a 64-6 filthy rags. Trapo nga mahugaw. Verse 7, If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Verse 8, Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit. So, shall ye be my disciples. Kanang bear much fruit, divine good. Verse 9, As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. Mo na divine atmosphere. Kanang guys, go to love. Kanang love, dia, is divine atmosphere. Verse 10, If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Divine atmosphere na po. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. Now, kung sa may ubangan sa divine atmosphere, naghan. Sometimes we call it protocol plan of God, Christian way of life, love complex, God's power system. Sa eleven verse eleven pagyot. These things have I spoken unto you. That my joy, and so many joy din eh, inner happiness. That my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. And so many full, perfect. So kung gusto kang maka ang kono perfect happiness, bisang niya patas kalimutan, then be spiritual in your in your condition. 
In other words, na ka nagapuyo sa divine atmosphere. You are filled by the Holy Spirit. You are in fellowship with God. So, you are unsa, ready to uh, fulfill the plan of God, the protocol plan of God. You are executing. O ikaw, naga unsa, naga tubo diha sa imong kalang pinagi sa pagpakaon dugang pang mga kamaturan. Bible doctrine. Okay, din hinata kutub una, o gato kining ipadayon sa sunod tang panag-uban. Ayaw sa, uh, si Piyata ang sumpay nini, indanggahan pa kayo kitang pag-aisigutan. Nagadapit ko gihapon kaninyo nga magpabilin ka mo sa pagkamasubayon o pagkamalautayon alang sa atong kayuhan kini spiritually. Kikining tanan na itong ipay muslan, grasya kini. Pagsangkap sa Diyos nga libre sa itong pawaybayan kay gasa manin niya. Pagsangkap kini sa atong kalag aron kita maka kabot yun sa atong tumong paghimaya sa Diyos. Magampo ta. Amahan na mong Diyos na kapasalamat kami kanimo sa imong itudlo ka na mo niningadlawa. Umani kami o Diyos sa pagbuag-buag o dadaan kami pagbalik. Sa sunod ni kayo na nang makapadayon kami sa pagtuon sa imong bala ang pulong kining tanan. Among ipasalamatan sa ngala ni Ginoong Iso Kristo, among bugtong manluwas. Amen. <coughs>